It is May and the trees and the flowers are beginning to bloom and the big warm up is on the way for the second half of this weekend and early next week, which means that a lot of you now want to plant your own flowers and vegetables, but you also want to make sure that they don't get damaged by a frost or a freeze. So that brings up the question, when does the last spring frost usually occur? Well, the following graphics show the average last spring frost date for various locations in central Montana. In the lower elevations, including in Cutbank, Glasgow, Great Falls, Haver, Helena, and Lewistown, the average last spring frost typically occurs in mid to late May. In the higher elevations, last spring frost usually occurs in June and even July in some of the highest elevations. Once we get past the average last spring frost date, that means that we have a better chance of not seeing another frost versus seeing another frost. If you are planning on planting some sensitive flowers and vegetables, then I suggest at least waiting until after the average last spring frost date. If possible though, I would suggest waiting until at least Memorial Day weekend. Yes, it is going to get warmer over the next few days, but the outlook for late next week and the following week is indicating that we have a good chance to have below average temperatures and above average precipitation. That means that we are probably not done with sub-freezing temperatures at night just yet. It's also very possible that some lower elevation locations may even see some snow again during the second half of the month. If you don't wanna wait or if you've already planted some sensitive plants, then please make sure you have a way to protect them on the colder nights, either by bringing them in or covering them up. In the studio, meteorologist Ryan Dennis, MTN News.